Good morning, everybody. I thought we were going to be very quiet, but we've actually been joined by Dave from downstairs <laughs> and Claire and Philip. So good morning, everybody. You've uh, practically doubled the size of <laughs> who's here this morning. Um, and I will hand over to Kasparita to read out a Dharma glimpse that Beth wrote. Thank you. Flailing Cockroach, Dharma Glimpse by Beth Hickey. On my way to the swimming pool while on holiday, I came across a spectacular beastie. It was enormous, with massive muscular legs, spindly antenna and keen beady eyes. So thank goodness for me that it was on its back, too humongous to flip itself back upright. I noticed several people ahead of me had stopped and gawped, laughed and turned away in disgust. It's a nasty cockroach, they said. As I bent down to take a better look, I heard it ask me to stop staring and help, please. So I did. It took three attempts using a small stick to flip it back onto its right way up. I had visions of it flying into my face in defiance, pinching me with its pincers, or at least taking a little nibble out of my toe. But it didn't. It shook itself off, dusted itself down, looked up at me and winked. And I'm not kidding. It made my day and I guess I made his too. How wonderfully compassionate human beings are capable of being. Namo Mutabu. Thank you. Quietly together for a while. Accompanied by Beth's cockroach, maybe. And in the silence, um, you might want to just hang out with the Buddha this morning. I sometimes say to people that you can imagine just lying in the palm of the Buddha's hand, very, very big Buddha, where it's nice and comfy. Or you might want to rest on the Buddha's lap or sit in front of a huge Buddha, whatever feels nicest, and just hang out and know that you are safe. No more need to be.
This morning we will chant the Tibetan form of the Nembutsu, which is Om Ami Dewa Hri. So it's saying on your bits of paper if you want to read it. Om Ami Dewa Hri. And this is a tune that my friend Utpaladi, who's in the Tree Ratna Buddhist group, uh, recorded for me quite early on in our friendship in a voice note. Om Ami Dewari Om Ami
Swami Devari Om Ami Devari Om Ami Devari Om Ami For refuge, I go to the Buddha. For refuge, I go to the Buddha. The one who is awake and full of love. The one who is awake and full of love. Namo Buddhaya. Namo Buddhaya. For refuge, I go to the Dharma. For refuge, I go to the Dharma. <clears throat> All that guides us to wisdom and compassion. All that guides us to wisdom and compassion. Namo Dharmaya. Namo Dharmaya. For refuge, I go to the Sangha. For refuge, I go to the Sangha. Those who live in the Buddha's light. Those who live in the Buddha's light. Namo Sangaya. Namo Sangha. With faith in the three jewels. With faith in the three jewels. I pray that I may not take life. I pray that I may not take life. With faith in the three jewels. With faith in the three jewels. I pray that I may not steal. I pray that I may not steal. With faith in the three jewels. With faith in the three jewels. I pray that I may not fall into sexual misconduct. I pray that I may not fall into sexual misconduct. With faith in the three jewels. With faith in the three jewels. I pray that I may avoid wrong speech. I pray that I may avoid wrong speech. With faith in the three jewels. With faith in the three jewels. I pray that I may avoid intoxication. I pray that I may avoid intoxication. No blame. No blame. Be kind. Be kind. Love everything. Love everything. Innumerable are sentient beings. We vow to save them all.
inexhaustible our deluded passion. We bow to transform the measurable of the Dharma teaching. We bow to master them all. That is the Buddha's way. We bow to fulfilling time. Say some things. No, I forgot about that. That's the opportunity. <laughs> I was going to go straight to prostrations. <laughs> mm. Got to say something. I'm just wondering why I forgot that bit this morning. <laughs> And I think there's something about uh, the completeness of what is presented to us moment by moment that doesn't need any extra commentary. And um, I really enjoyed Beth's Dharma glimpse this morning. It, it actually, although it was kind of amusing, it moved me. There was something very tender about it. Um, and that's the idea of Dharma glimpses is that when we're looking with the right eyes, when we're looking through the eyes of the Buddha, then everywhere we turn isn't just a glimpse of the Dharma, but a stream of the Dharma. Uh, a spring of the Dharma, uh, um, flowing forth of the Dharma. And of course, most of the time, we're not looking through the Buddha's eyes. <laughs> we're looking through the eyes of foolish beings of wayward passions. And Yesterday, I had a conversation with somebody and felt extremely irritated by it. And this kind of cloud of irritation really stuck to me like something sticky. I just couldn't get rid of it. And I sort of understood why it had triggered me, but I think it was also one of those. Um, one of those conversations that touches on all sorts of other things that have been going on for a very long time. Um, that since we were born, we were having experiences where we had to find some way of protecting ourselves from the intense vulnerability of being dependent, entirely dependent on one or two fallible human beings. So those layers of protection start building really young. And when we look at the world, we're looking through all of that protection with all of those filters. Like when you go to the uh, opticians and they put a, a lens in those glasses and then they put another lens in and take it out it's like that but with like 60 million lenses <laughs> it's a wonder we can see anything <laughs> it's a wonder we don't keep bumping into each other i guess we do we do, <laughs> we do. so a dharma glimpse is when just for a second we just lift those glasses and see the suffering of the cockroach and hear the voice of the cockroach. We're really lucky to be able to hear other people's Dharma glimpses because they point us towards our own compassion, our own um, freedom, our own courage, our own clarity. And hopefully that's what happens in this room too, or when we walk around the garden slowly, we just 
catch little glimpses, sometimes out the corner of our eye of the Dharma. The Dharma is always presenting itself to us. And if we're lucky, we can receive it, allow it to nourish us, allow it to remind us that we are loved just as we are, and that we can just lean back into the Buddha's lap or the Buddha's palm or a piece of grass in front of the Buddha and just be safe. Namo need to be. So now we'll do postrations. <laughs> Back to stand at your seats. And we'll bow to each other. This should be very neat this morning. Very good. <laughs> and to the sugar. Bow to our seats. I don't look because I'm bowing at other people, but I'm hoping that everybody on Zoom is bowing to each other in that moment as well, <laughs> to the left and the right. <laughs> we just bow uh, once to the screen, we wouldn't bow to the left and the right. I guess so. Really yeah, I guess so. <laughs> um, and we'll finish with the closing verse. It's in a bit of paper if you don't know it yet. Blessed by Amitabha's light, may we prepare for all living things and the holy. So just a little plug for next Wednesday, instead this of our, Wednesday. this Wednesday, instead of our usual practice, we have uh, Enrique here giving a talk about um, Jusuige, which is a part of the larger Pure Land Sutra, part of the Pure Land 
um, tradition, he will definitely be streaming it on Zoom, but he's not sure whether it will be recorded or not. So and make sure, you make sure you're here, <laughs> never to be repeated. Um, and that's it. No more need to be. No more need to be.